Hi everyone, it's Sue and welcome to my craft room. I'm going to do my Take 3 September collage we, um, based on the Marguerite Miller uh, images that she sends. There are three for each uh, month <clears throat> and uh, this one is the September one and we have uh, this little image of a lady. We have some flowers and some sort of a church or cathedral and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a couple of things myself um, I thought I might add a few extra little flowers I do have this um, it's it's a paper but I think it might be you um, add water so lick and stick type of thing um, I've also got some washi tape which I thought sort of went along with the, the colouring of the flower background although I'm not sure if I'll use the, that like that I may actually cut them out but to start with I need to do my background so I've grabbed a few bits and pieces so I'm thinking I might just pop that there uh, I do have some grid paper or graph paper which I think might go there oops and I do have some book page which I'm thinking may fill that space yep um, okay so I will just do that and I will oops more than likely fast goodness me fast forward this part and then we'll get on with the collaging Okay, so that's the basis of my background. I like to start with bigger pieces and then maybe break it up with some smaller pieces. So I'm just having a look to my side to see what I've got in some smaller pieces. And I've just knocked something down. I've just got this little piece of lined paper here and a little bit of blank paper. So I'm just thinking, I don't like that word there, so I'm going to pop that across there. Um, <clears throat> just clean that up a little bit. And maybe something like that, I think. Um, Alright, now I'm thinking she's going to be my centre part. Um, in hindsight, I'm wishing I actually printed them bigger than they are, but it doesn't matter. Um, maybe, no, I like that down there. Or maybe this side actually, since this is plain. Um, now I am thinking I will cut the flowers out. I think that will be better as little flowers rather than this thing hope everyone is really well um, I'm in Victoria Australia um, and we're still in lockdown <clears throat> quite severe lockdown actually we have a curfew so we're not allowed out of our houses after eight o'clock in the evening um, the shops uh, the ones that are open which is really only supermarkets and what they consider essential hardware stores uh, chemists that sort of a thing they're only open till 7 30 so you more or less go to the shops and you have to be home by eight o'clock 
we can't really go to we're really only supposed to be going to the supermarket um, minimal times in the week we and by ourselves not really supposed to be going with people um, and we have an hour's exercise a day uh, what else have we got oh, oh as I said we can't go to, there's no shops open really apart from what they consider essential services if you cannot work from home then you do go to work but from I actually work can work from home so I'm working from home but to be able to work um, you do need some sort of documentation that says you are actually working um, on site on your at your business or whatever um, so it's it's pretty severe it's pretty harsh um, and we've been doing this now uh, I'm just trying to think how long at least it's definitely a month um, possibly even I'm not really sure it um, it's been a long stint though I do know that maybe something like that um, now where can I pop this I did want to use this I don't know why I just did but maybe I won't Maybe I might use just some of the top part. <clears throat> yeah, so it's pretty severe. Um, and look, to be honest with you, it's pretty tough going after a while. You know, you just want to go out. Um, you just want to go out and do something. <laughs> you know, you kind of get a bit bored at home. And I, I must admit, um, going to the supermarket's kind of like the only thing we can really do. So that's kind of like a highlight. Um, but until our numbers come down this is what we have to put up with now I'm just going to randomly pop some of this around so that it um, breaks up the background again a bit more people who are living in more regional areas there's, they've, um, they've got less curfew things than we have they don't have a curfew um, I think think they're allowed out more than we are as well so it's not quite as severe because they don't have the numbers that the sort of the metropolitan Melbourne area has although in comparison to what I've gathered other countries have got we're still pretty low um, it's just that in Australia where Victoria has more than any other state we can't go to any other state um, they can't come here I don't think unless you get some sort of exemption so it's been pretty hard for people you know if if you were going to get married I think you would have cancelled it um, funerals and things have been a problem for people uh, because you're, you're limited to who can go so it's been pretty severe um, you know we were hoping I guess that um, we'd be a little bit more able to go out by now <clears throat> and we're certainly hoping by Christmas we could go out and see family and that but it's it's really not looking that good all right I'm just going to add three of those because I like having them in bunches of three all right now I've just distress the edges so now let's see I'm just going to pop them down <clears throat> And of course we're all wearing masks when we do go out. Even when you go for a walk or something, you do have to wear your mask. There are a few exceptions, obviously, if you can't for health reasons or, um, well, I think that's really, or you're a child. Children under the age of 12 don't have to. So, but other than that, everybody's wearing masks, which they're not that great but you know if that's what we have to do we have to do it and I know other countries around the world are too <clears throat> it's just unfortunate that it's got to this position I guess and who knows how long we'll be wearing masks you know it might be um might be something that we'll, we're doing for a long time
just trying to glue this down. Okay, bit, bit messy, but it should be fine. And pull the flowers down. But as I said, I hope everybody else is fine um, and getting on with life. It has been a struggle to get motivated, I know that. Okay, now the little three flowers, I'm not sure, I might actually get more than three. They have to be in threes because that's just, I don't know, how my my um, mind or eye sees it. Maybe that. Yeah, I quite like that actually. Yep, let's do that. Now hopefully this glue will stick it. It is, um, it's actually PBA in, in the little fine bottle because um, I found the glue stick just really wasn't doing it for me. I might actually get my art glitter glue because that's a little bit stronger. Okay, now let's not get everything confused here. This one dries a little bit quicker than the PVA. don't like using too many dimensional things I must admit in these collages because in the end it does make it um, very difficult to close your books they do get too uh, too thick I must admit I'm even though I've done quite a lot of online shopping and I really have way too much craft stuff, really do, there's just a few things that I really would like to get that's very hard to buy online. <clears throat> you know, you just, you need to go to the shop to, to check them out basically. There we go. Now I was going to just put some stamping as well. So I do have a script step, and I just thought I'd put a little bit of stamping. Uh, let me see. Although it's very hard to see. Might have to use black, I think. Um, black. Let's grab the stays on. <clears throat> um, don't want too much, just enough to blend things in a little bit. And some of the areas that have nothing. Okay, that will do. Okay, so, uh, oh no, I haven't finished. I do like to do the edges here. Let's finish it off a little bit, I think. Here we go. Okay, so let's just have a quick look. So there we go. Quite like that one actually. Yeah, very happy with that. Okay, thank you very much for joining me and I will see you next time. Bye for now.